Going and Gordon Jury, the man who scored a hat trick against Hearts in the Tennis Scottish Cup final last May. He's back from injury for his first start in the side since the 25th of September, the Champions League match here against Ozer. Hearts manager Jim Jeffries has had the rare luxury of choosing from a full strength, injury free squad, and there's the fruit of his labours. Stefano Salvatore returns to midfield after a three and a half month absence, but the man anticipating this match with most relish is surely 21 year old Gary Locke, who plays his first Premier Division match as his cup final this dream ended at Hamden in the opening phase of the game because of a serious knee injury. And the match referee is from Wilson Town, Les Mottram. So Rangers start the match in a strangely muted atmosphere. It's a very important match indeed to keep the league challenge on course and Hearts coming here obviously with scores to settle especially resulting in that cup final defeat last year and remembering also their last side to win a domestic competitive match here at Ibrox a year ago when they won by three goals to nil that remarkable league match which was dominated by Alan Johnston's hat-trick so Rangers will be treating their opponents with great respect for sure Richard Goff, the skipper, will make sure of that. Jim Jeffries, Billy Brown, Paul Hegarty, and Peter Houston on the hearts bench. The Rangers starting the match with three up. Jury through the centre, McCoist and Loudrop flanking him. Cameron hustled there by Bjorkland. Here's space for Loudrop. Locke getting back the challenge. It's a great pass, here's Robertson. Splendid defending by Paul Ritchie. Applause from Judy, it was an excellent build-up. What a good pass that was by Loudrop, picked up by Robertson. And Paul Ritchie very quickly in with a challenge. Headed down by Bjorkland, there's Robertson and McInnes. Space on the far side for Cleland. Very ambitious one there from Alan McLaren. Turns out well for Robertson. An excellent volley by David Robertson. Well, Rusi taking no chances there. He dives across. The break of the ball fell kindly here for David Robertson against Cameron. And Rusi turned that away. It may well have been outside the post anyway, but he couldn't chance it. McCann playing up front with John Robertson. Well, the hearts bench irate about that, and referee Mottram is coming across. The complaint is really aimed at the near side assistant referee. The message from referee Mottram is clear. Calm things down. Assistant referee Ian obviously upsetting the hearts bench. Here's Neil Poynton. Ferguson. Striding into space again for Rangers. Robertson to his left. McCoy. Looking for Robertson again. Good link up play from McCoy. Robertson's running for carrying him into that advanced position. Well, this system allows Robertson to come forward much more than he used to do in a flat back four. And it can be very effective indeed like this. McCoist against Ritchie. Salvatore and Jury. Jury wins it. He has Loudrop to his outside. McCoist and Jury wait in the middle. Too close to the keeper. Well taken by Rousset. Tori, Cameron, good footwork, but Bjorkman did well with the tackle. This is Ferguson, testing Weir's pace for Loudrop. And David Weir did extremely well there to avoid conceding a corner. 
Mackinnis available for the quick throw. No low drop. Ferguson. McLaren takes over. That's fine play by Ritchie. This is McCann. Ferguson trying to get back on terms. That's well claimed by Gorham. The target for the cross was Robertson. Robertson coming into the far post. Bjorklund was marking him, but Gorham made it all look easy. And there's Judy. Well, I guess the break of the ball from two players. Walking Cameron. McLaren. Strong enough to hold off the challenge from McCann. Come back by Clellan from McCoyst! The closest yet! And some fine play by Alan McLaren set this all up. He came surging forward. Now look at the way he holds off this challenge from McCann. Strong upper body. Plays the pass wide. The man arriving there was Alec Clellan. The pullback was designed for McCoy. to get up very well for that. Roussi was stranded. Now Fulton. Salvatore Square. And a lock to Fulton. Good turn by McCann. Well, he found space there. He's very disappointed, I think, with the final effort. That's some very good play, this is, by Hearts. Fulton's pass. Goff got himself wrong side of McCann, who turned him neatly. He had real time to set himself there. Well, Hearts bench taking some encouragement, I think, from that. Now, Cleland. Low drop takes over. Away from Richie at pace now. And Richie's strength again was very important against Lodrup. Good defending again by the young man. We are forced to hurry there, holding off McCoist. On the far side is Poynton. McCann exchanging passes. Oh, a wrestling match in the box there. Robertson against Bjorkland. Referee Walter appeared to see that. He thought it was six of one, half a dozen of the other. Robertson wanted a penalty. Ferguson to Cleland. That's Richie again returning it. Now Ian Ferguson. Cleland's off the line again on the right hand side. Chased there by Ritchie. Oh, that's very good defending again. Excellent play by Ritchie. Oh, a howl for a foul there from the Rangers fans, but there seems to be nothing wrong with that. Ferguson didn't quite get the angle right on the pass. Clellan knew he was going to get second prize here, I think. McCoyst. Oh, that's careless. Third becoming a little bit restless now. The Rangers fans not happy with so much of the ball in the opening half, but no real goal scoring chances created. A lot of chase here for Cameron. Well, that's all he could do. He did well to win the corner. The well, hearts begin to show some signs of growing belief now. It's the first corner kick hearts have had of the match. But they've weathered a tough half hour and are now thinking in terms of troubling Andy Gorham. McCann's near post corner is behind. Well, Black stayed down there. Well, the Rangers players are furious there about the fact that the flag didn't go up. Ian Elms just shakes his head, saying the ball was not out of play. Well, he certainly was best positioned. But it looked as though it was very close indeed. We'll see it here. And there was the attempt to keep the ball in play. Well, Steve Fulton did get to that. That would have been controversial if that hit the net. Well, 
Robertson was doing there as he tries to get away from Cameron. That ball has swerved out of play. Five minutes of the first half remaining as David Robertson prepares to take this throw. Richard Goff has offered himself in the penalty box for a flick on. Didn't get to that, but still a problem for Hearts. Richie claiming all over Mugger. Free kick to Rangers. Well, Lodge again trying to screen the ball here, though, clearly the arm around the neck. No Alberts, of course, and no Gascoigne, but Lodrup is there. McLaren may go for power, which here he goes. He certainly did. Not a pleasant ball to stand in. McLaren made the tackle in the end on Robertson. And a fine shot. Rousset right in line to make the block. But the turn was so important here. A new man in Ferguson at this stage in the season, shrugging off all those injury problems. Person now looking for a run from Salvatore, but Bjorkland has possession. So half time after domination territorially by Rangers throughout that first half but some very well-organised, determined defending by Hearts. But still, the deadlock remains. It's Rangers nil, Hearts nil. Hearts set off in the second half. Again, the campaign to win a place in European football next season goes on. In fourth place, just behind Dundee United in the moment. So anything in this match should be a huge boost to their chances. The Rangers, though, with Celtic still maintaining their effort to get back on terms. They had to certainly look to win home games like this. The Hearts have already established how difficult it's going to be for Rangers in the second half. I wonder there may be some tactical switch he's made. No change in personnel for the second half yet. Goff to McCoy, set up there for Ferguson. Down goes McCoy. Challenged by Weir, and the appeals for a penalty are waved aside by referee Mottram. Well, I think this is a let off the hearts. Played in there, and there was a turn. We are looking up anxiously towards the referee. McCoy certainly believed he was fouled. It certainly looked like it from here. Lock spotted Jury's arrival. Salvatore. Oh, neat footwork from Fulton. Asking a great deal, though, to take on Gordon from that range. That's good sleight of foot to get away from Ian Ferguson, though. McInnes. Shadowed there by Salvatore. Bjorklund. Jury. Ferguson. Well, he has a terrific strike in that right foot, Neil Ferguson. Set up well by Jury, rising all the way from Ferguson, but too straight at the keeper. Pass from Bjorklund. Allen seeing a lot of the ball, so too is Ferguson. Loudrop again in a deep position to run at the Hearts defence. Supported once more by Cleland. That's a bit of cross! Fine header by Jury. Came off his marker very well indeed there. Simple move this, low drop to Cleland, and we give it a too much space. You see Judy coming inside, he wasn't picked up. Rusi was ready to the spot. Well, see how close this was from this angle. But Judy get far too much space in there, that's very unusual, that's close all right. 
Thinking about a pass to Cleland, but he's held on just now. Going into that right hand side himself now. Well, Lord is showing an odd sign of fatigue here. I think his training has been hampered in recent times, first of all by a flu bug, then by a hamstring injury. He does look a little bit weary here as he steps away from Poynton. No foul given. That's the second time Robertson's gone down like that, and the referee's way play on. Good layoff by Robertson. He says Cameron. There's McCann ahead of him. It's McCann. Very lively indeed up front for Hearts. 22-year-old, former Dundee striker. Winger rather by nature, but now playing very well through the middle beside John Robertson. Either way, he makes space for himself here for the shot. Ferguson forward, McPherson covering behind Poynton. Hearts growing in confidence again. Trying to pick out the only man making a run was Robertson. Here's Loudrop now on the counter attack. More space to utilize. Needs some help from McInnes. Good change of pace. Boyce on the turn, turned straight into Weir. Loudrop wanted a turn pass. Here's McInnes. Well, into Loudrop once more. Face of Cleland and effective. Cool back's a good one. There was handball in there, surely. Handball it was, yes. There's a booking coming here for McCoyst, I suspect. Oh, that's Cleland at real pace towards the byline. And the hand was up there by McCoyst. He couldn't get to the ball legally. And that's his last contribution to the play. Receiving the yellow card, he is now withdrawn. The replacement is the goals machine from Denmark, Eric Bo Anderson. It's a warm welcome for the Rangers fans. Walter Smith went downstairs to organise that. Low drop, couldn't get away from Richie. Such a determined character, the young self tonight. That's good play by McInnes. Very good play. And also by Ferguson. That's for Eric Bo Anderson. First touch let him down. Couldn't step away from McPherson. But a bit of incision here offered by the running power and pace there of Eric Bo Anderson. Goff on the near post. Anderson on the goalkeeper. Yeah. Right away by Richard. Here's McInnes. Lashed away by Cameron, it can be returned quickly by Cleland. Hart staying back. Launched there by McLaren to the far side. Still this ball's going to men wearing blue. Low drop. Still in possession. Was oh, good play by Low drop. <laughs> Oh, he has the corner. Half the crowd thought that had gone in. But you see how elusive he is, especially inside the box when he cannot risk a rash tackle on him. David Weir particularly being very careful there. Deflection took the ball wide. Yeah. Up goes Ferguson, it's off the line! Close to save the day that time. McLaren playing it across. Cameron first to the ball. Robertson on his own. 
has help now from Poynton. Cameron's on the right-hand side. Promising now for Hearts. Robertson makes a run. He's missed out by the pass. And Jim Jeff is in play, brother. They're furious about that. They were really upset about Colin Cameron's pass there. Well, that's corner kick to the left-hand side. Met by a towering leap from Ian Ferguson. A great header. McCann was on the post. Well, you can feel the tension at Ibrox here. This could turn out to be a crucial match in the championship. Rangers still looking for a breakthrough here. The hearts remain dangerous all the time on the counter. Robertson's onside. Our plan has gone popular here for Jim Jeffries to complete the perfect afternoon. Runs of a winning goal, preferably, I think, from John Robertson to make it a fairy tale. Cameron's pass, this is McCann. Great effort by McCann, what a magnificent save from Gorham. Now that tells you all about the quality of Gorham. It's great play by McCann, but Gorham, who's been pretty well idle all afternoon, pulls off that sensational save. Still, there are problems for the Rangers' defence. Once again, Richie's right on the shoulder of Brian Loudrop near the halfway line. There they are, worried about the counter attack. Another wasted corner, is it? No, the ball's still in play. Bobbling around there at the near post. supporters are upset because they think Loudrop was checked in his run for that ball by Ritchie here's Robertson Loudrop's pass good running by Cameron a strong play at the back by Weir caught napping though by Judy, here's Loudrop Pull back for Eric Anderson. And Ferguson blasts it wide. Oh, there's good play by Rangers. Low drop going to the byline with that change of pace again. Eric Anderson forced a turn back, set it up for Ian Ferguson, who sliced the shot. Jim Jaffe still looking for a winner here. Not content with the draw. Judy halted by Mackay. This is Coulton. And that Jim Jeffries furious that Coulton didn't play that towards the corner for McCann to chase. Played over the top of the Rangers defense. So he's brought another attack on his defense by that slack pass, Coulton. Low drop. That's great running again. Fine handling by Rousset. Well, he's still got the energy, still got the determination, low drop to cause problems. Mackay plays it wide. This is Gary Locke. A minute remaining, plus stoppage time. Mackay into space there for Cameron to chase. Goff gets there first and concedes a corner kick. Well, could Hearts have the audacity here to win this? Jim Jeffries is not committing all the big men forward, telling Dave McPherson in particular to stay back. Very worried about the counter-attack. There's the marking chore for Richie. On low drop. into the far side there, helped on. And that's got him again with a save! Oh, that's terrific goalkeeping by Andy Gorham. He really has saved a point, I think, here for Rangers. 
First of all, beating it away. The first time volley, the reaction of the keeper was terrific. Walter Smith out there trying to get Richard Goff to urge his team on. They always play the very last second, Rangers. Their hearts are showing no sign at all of being prepared to capitulate. And here's Ali, uh, Neil McCann. Robertson's on the far side. Jocklin cleared up. So it's hard sending the game on the ascendancy here after defending so brilliantly for so long. McCann causing a problem again for Goff. And Jocklin had to get to that. Maybe the last opportunity. Andy Gordon really has avoided defeat so far for Rangers. Good corner. Very poor corner. There's Gary Mackay. Oh, he's caught here. Could be a last chance for Rangers. Jury breaking. Van Bossen goes forward. Person going to meet him. Present for Gilles Rousset. The ball's gone out for a goal kick. Retrieved by the keeper while well, it was in the air. But if they time Rousset to get a move on. Got a couple of minutes to stop his time. Les Mottram checks his watch. Can't be much more to go. The final whistle. Game ends goal as Rangers have dropped two crucial championship points. Alan McLaren showing his frustration with a kick there at the flight flag there. But Andy Gorham, at the end of the day, actually avoided defeat for Rangers with two truly outstanding saves. One from Neil McCann, then one at the end from Neil Point. And McCann himself headed a Ferguson header off the line at a crucial time from a corner kick to Rangers midway through the second half. But Hearts deserve everything they've got, at least on the evidence of this performance. A tactical triumph for Jim Jeffries. Rangers simply couldn't break them down. It's Rangers nil. Hearts nil. Obviously, we're disappointed to, to drop two points. We had a uh, balance of pressure in the game. That was by far our, in our favour. But uh, in saying that, Hearts defended very well today. We're restricted as to very few clear-cut chances. And, uh, you know, in the end, we a bit of frustration because I felt we played well enough in the match. And we controlled the game for most of the game. As normal, a bit of frustration sets in near the end, and uh, you know we're pushing people forward, and that allowed us a situation where you know Hearts had a couple of chances near the end, and it was only save from Andy Gorham that you know, in the end of the day, might not have reflected the balance of play, but still, it was a difficult match for us. You rang the changes too up front to try and turn things around. Uh, are you still looking for a blend up front with all the men you've got? Yeah. Well, we're still looking for a, a blend there. Uh, you know, we've had the difficulties with players going out injured. You know, Sebastian Rosenthal being injured today. Um, you know, we've not managed to get um, playing with the, the team that we, we would like. But uh, no excuses for today's game. I mean, that, that's uh, we had enough of the pressure. It's up to us to try and turn that into goals. And we didn't even create the number of chances. It's very difficult for our, for our own team today. And I think, just a reminder for everybody in Scotland, it's not quite as easy um, to win league championships. It's not quite as easy to overcome any opposition as people might think. You have to be in your top form.